Hi, and welcome to At Home Art Lessons with the Art Groupies, where we develop great art habits. We're going to be working with Elvis today, and we are going to envision. We're going to ask ourselves, what if? We're going to imagine the possibilities. What if I was an American Indian? And what if I lived in the middle of North America in what we call the Plains area, the Great Plains. What if I was a Sioux Indian and I had beautiful horses that helped me hunt, roam the earth, and I painted all my designs all over our beautiful horses. What if I designed my own beautiful horse. This was designed by an American Indian artist and look at the beautiful designs. We're going to imagine the possibilities and create our own horse. We're going to start with simple black lines, black shapes. The first shape we're going to create is that ellipse shape over towards the side of our paper. We're going to leave room for our horse's body. We're going to put a nice beautiful circle inside for the eye of the horse. We're also going to move down a little further and put another oval shape for the horse's nostril. We're going to start up top here and move a line down and around, almost like the letter C. I'm going to bring this line up a little bit for the horse's mouth. We're going to add a triangle up here for our horse's ear. We're going to take a little journey for our horse's proud neck. We're going to come down here to the bottom of the hill and then scoop back up and around. I'm going to create the letter, backwards letter L. Come on down here. I'm going to do a little loop-de-loop -loop spiral for his hoof. Come on up, down and around for our horse's leg. I'm going to do a nice small letter U for the horse's underbelly. And we're now going to create his front leg. Come down here for that side letter L. Nice little curved line down. Another curved line for a hoof up and around for his top leg. We're only going to do one side of our horse's body. We're going to join it up here with his neck. Now the horse has this beautiful flowing mane. We're going to do that with some beautiful zigzag lines. making a nice journey around for his mane, his wild mane. Can also do that for his tail. Just let the pin flow around. So now we have the design for our beautiful horse. Now it's time to decorate. So some of the designs that you would see are the polka dots, the hand, the circle, the stripes. So a lot of geometric shapes. Here we have um, the teepee and another horse represented on the belly of the horse. This to me looks like kind of a, a river coming into a big lake. So I'm gonna use just red, blue, and some black. And I'm going to have fun. And I'm just going to think about the shape of whatever it is I'm going to follow and let that dictate exactly how I'm going to decorate my
pursue horse. My American Indian from the Great Plains. Now horses actually came from Spain. The Spaniards brought it over. They used to use uh, dogs to do all their moving and helping of the, the tribe. And then they found this great, big, beautiful creature, which at first they thought it was a dog. They'd had no idea. They've never saw it before. So they actually thought of the horse as a sacred dog. They did not know that it was a horse. They thought it was a gift from the gods to help them create their life and make it easier. You can do some nice, beautiful, simple polka dots. Just simple designs and shapes to fill in our horse. And be inspired by the American Indian. always outline these shapes too with the black. Make it a little bit more exciting. Color that in, make those lines thick. Artists will use different thicknesses and thinnesses of lines to make your designs a little bit more exciting. And a lot of times artists will just follow the shape of whatever they are creating. That will be their inspiration. But the Spaniards brought the horse over to America about believe 600 years ago. And they believed it was a gift from the gods to help them carry heavy things. They would put almost like trailer type scaffolding all around them so they could carry their big teepees and roam the plains. They hunted buffalo, so they had to go wherever the buffalo migrated. the designs. Be inspired by the shape and the image. Bring that red stripe back in that you saw on the painting in the beginning of the lesson. Bring in some more of those polka dots. So there you go, your beautiful sacred dog of the Sioux tribe from the Great Plains in North America.
I hope you had fun and I hope you were inspired and enjoy drawing your horse.